Hello. I'm here to help you learn how to use the MP3 My MP3. For all you new folks out there who just downloaded and installed this, I'm going to try to help you here. All right. Now what you want to do is once you've downloaded and installed, you want to click on options, which is to the far right hand side of the, of the player. What you're going to do is you're going to click on save files as, and when you do that, the little box will open. Click on MP3, and I do not know why the arrow is not showing on here, but okay. Once you click on that, you're going to go right down underneath that to browse. A menu should open up that says select default save folder. Now you could either use desktop, you should download my documents, my music. Pick out whichever folder you're going to save the songs in, which I use my music, and click OK. All right, underneath that, there's going to be three things. Click on the last one at the bottom that says automatic add to playlist after each recording. Now, as far as the appearance and the scheduler, don't even worry about that. I don't think that's necessary for MD. All righty, next up, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the record page. So click at the top where it says record, the little red dot. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to go find your song that you want to record. Could be from Sing Snap, could be from YouTube. Whatever song you want to turn into an MP3, just go get it. Open up another browser. Find the song you're going to sing. I mean, the song you're going to record. Well, it could be Sing too if you're going to Sing Snap and recording the song. Sing that song, record it, then find it and play it. When you play the song, you're going to go down to the bottom here. You're going to see the big red dot to record, the pause button, and the stop button. Now look right above it. There's your recording volume. Adjust that. I say midway. That way it gives it an even sound. Click on a big red dot and record the song. Now, while it's recording into an MP3, you can go ahead and start looking for another song by opening up another browser if you want. Or right, just wait till this one's done and go to another song. Okay. Once the song is done, which of course I ain't recording the song right now anyway. This is just a demonstration of how to use this. Okay, the song's supposedly finished. Click on the stop button. You'll see it popped up in a box up here, and it says recording. It'll have the date on there and the time that it was recording, and it says MP3. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure you name the song. That way when you go to your file, your file folder, excuse me, you're going to look for that song, and you're going to want to click on that to put it on a, on a player, on your music driven. So what you're going to do... For that is you're going to go right above it where the tabs are. It says rename. Click on rename and the little black box is going to open below. What you're going to do is you're going to click on that. You're going to erase what's in the box. Then you're going to type in the name of the song. Okay. And right next to it is going to say rename file. Click that. So your song that's already on the list, that first one on the list is going to be named. Do the same thing to add another song. Click record. When you get your other song up, start that one. Click record. When a song's done. I mean, when a song starts, go down to the bottom here. Click the red dot. Let the song record. When it's done, click the off button. All right, the second song's up there. Go back to rename. Okay. Put the title of the song into the box here.
click rename file to the right of that. Okay, your second song is done already, recorded and turned into an MP3. Keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Now, the thing here is now when you want to put it on music driven. So let me bring music driven up. Okay, where did I put it? Here it is. Alrighty. Hold on one second here. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to your music driven page. Make sure you go to my profile. All right. Once you hit my profile, go down the page till you find where it says my music. Now where it says my music, it should say add music. Click on add music. When you click on that, scroll down. And you'll see a gold box that says click to add music. Okay, okay, what you're going to do is click on that, and it's going to open your files. Now you're going to want to find a folder that you put your songs in. You're going to go to that folder, click on it. Open up whatever file you want to load. Click on that. Alrighty. Let's see here. See if I could find something. Okay, my music. All right. I just clicked on a song I wanted. Click open. All right, and you could do this by adding more. If you go to the bottom here, you can see the plus sign in the box says add more. Keep doing it until you get all the songs you want in there. And go to the bottom right of that box and click upload. And that's all there is to it.